Hello everybody, how are you? I hope that you are fine. Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm gonna to show you how to calculate the volume of a reservoir of a reservoir of a potential uh, dam which you want to calculate its volume. So here you are uh, I'm showing to you a watershed which localize in Algeria especially in Bashar states and is this watershed uh, called uh, watershed of uh, Wed Labyad stream so the the government want to establish a dam here on this watershed here between those two mountains so for me I want between those Two mountains so for me I want to calculate the potential uh, volume of retention of this dam so first of all I need to use global mapper and this is the, the form of watershed at the same time I need to use a digital elevation model dam of the studied area and what I need to do, I need to establish a contours for for the dam localization or location for the dam location here. So what I need to do is, for example, I need to use this just to determine the the surface of contours so I need to click here and for example I will choose this for example is depending on your choice and study or dam location and okay so I need now to uh, to close yes like you are seeing now so you need now to go to file and generate contours and to to choose contour interval 1 and go to contours bounds and crop the selected area and OK so you are now seeing the contours or the generated contours of the dam so what I need to do now and from here I can focus on and I can observe that uh, those are the most important contours in my watershed so I will choose the contours of 917 as a maximum of a maximum level of the potential dam so what I need to do now is to go to uh, I will uncheck the dam elevation file now I will go to select a new area depending on the limits of the watershed so I will use the pan and go to here and start to limit as you are seeing here I will try to to, lim to limit depending on the the maximum level and the maximum level it's depending on your choice for your study area so this is not just an example for you to just show you how to use so this is the 700 so I will go from here just to close the chosen the chosen area and I will go directly here for example like this ok 
go like this and I'm gonna just to show you an example close area and chosen for example chosen area and OK yes now I will deselect the generated or close it no and this is the new area so this is the new area the chosen the chosen I will what I need to do now click here and create a new area from the selected file as you see and I will regenerate contours another again but I will check or activate the dig dig digital elevation model and go to generate contours and one as interval of contours and go to crop to selected area and here so what I need to do I will to deactivate the digital elevation model and the basin the basin watershed also and to user user created feature also now I need to go to file and to export vector data and go to ch export shape file I will I will choose export lines yes like here and contours as you see here and save now I will to export bones throw box and save OK and OK now I will go to arc map and to open the saved contours from here as you see here so now I will go to arc toolbox as you see here and to select 3d analyst tools and data management 10 and create 10 from here as you see so I will choose my contours from here and check OK as you see here this is the created tin so what I need to do now I need to choose the I need now to limit the volume or the maximum level which which I, I have chosen before 917 meter so I need to now go to go back to global mapper and select the pan and to go here to 917 and select it select it as you see here and right click and create new area and OK so as you see here I will go just to select so I will nine hundred seventeen as you see here so what I need to do now I need to deactivate deactivate also this and this and what I need to do now is to select it the nine hundred seventeen contours seven hundred seven seventeen meters contours and go to export vector data like here go to shape file areas and polygon polygon of reservoir just an example to show you this is depending I need to zo zo zoom out and OK as you see here and OK I need to go back to arc map and go to polygon of reservoir so this is the generated polygon of reservoir so we need to go now to 3d analyst tools and triangulated surface and go to polygon volume so I need to choose 10 to create a 10 impulse feature class I need to choose polygon of volume and here I will let it to unknown and I need to be to be sure that this is is below this is volume and this surface area so I need to just click OK 
and here told tell me that the operation was done successfully so we need to go here and right click and open attribute table and I will observe that this is the, the result of volume of the potential reservoir of the potential dam so this is the volume and this is the area I hope that I was clear I tried to do quickly to not uh, make the video very long I hope that I was clear any any interrogation or you can contact me on my account on YouTube I hope that you're fine take care of yourself and assalamu alaikum bye bye